Hello everybody, I'm PC Outcast, and we are back with the adventures of Augustus as he attempts to become a great paladin of Stendar. As a quick recap, if you're new or uh, weren't able to catch the first stream, we started over here at Stendar's Beacon. We're currently on a pilgrimage to hit up all of the shrines of Stendar. So there's one here, we just reached uh, this one over here in the Plains of Whiterun. Next up is the one in Solitude. Then there's one at over here, somewhere over here, uh, at the Vigilance lo location, the Vigilance, um, whatever. The Hall of the Vigilance, that's what it's called. And then there's one inside Fort Greenwall over here, but we're not quite ready to take on a fort, so... Uh, hopefully by the time we've made this trip and joined the, the Vigilance, which are going to be doing up in Dawnstar here, uh, we will maybe be able to bring somebody on, and then Greenwall might very well be a possibility. But as it stands, we are out on the plains here, and evening is falling, so we're going to head to Rorikstead for the night. And hello everybody in the stream. We've got Amarali, Zachariah, Z Zachariah, yeah, Zachariah, uh, Ocilium, Jiru, Keith, Lorem. Welcome everybody. Glad you guys could join me at an unusual streaming time. Another part of the adventure that we're on right now. What is that? That looks suspiciously like some sort of Stonehenge type place with a bunch of mist and somebody dressed in a black robe, which can only mean bad things. Oh, he looks like he has a two-handed hammer as well. Interesting. There's Sean. How are you doing? Glad you could join us. Let's just save in case this guy is way too much for us. Oh, is this the, uh, this is the scavenger. Hmm. What happened here, brother? Oh, did he just spit at us? Oh. He like total, totally, completely. Is he a? He's a scavenger, but he threw up on us like a, um, like an afflicted. What the heck is going on with that? Guess he's got a mishmash of things, and he. I don't know if he killed these guys. Some, I suppose this was a skirmish. And he was just looting them. Makes sense. Okay. I'm good, pretty good, Jiru. How are you doing? You know, maybe uh, resting up to get our health back would be a good idea. And sit down in the grass right here. Yeah, we just smot him. Is that the past tense of smite? Smot? <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, we've gotten completely lost. We were kind of clearing out the um, the roads as we went. But I kind of got away from the roads when I went looking for that shrine. I had no idea that the scavengers were afflicted. I don't think I've ever had them throw up on me. But maybe one of the mods I have did that. Hey, GG, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Rorikstead Way Shrine. As you approach the enigmatic ruins, a mysterious note blows through the wind, twirling at your side. Out of curiosity, you decide to hold on to it. 
The metaphysics of moving bodies. Um, yeah, the torn note is not there. Did that just add? I added a quest. Upon inspection of the elven ruins, a mysterious note had appeared out of nowhere. Perhaps reading the note could reveal more information on its origins. Am I... Um, excuse me? I do not have a... Oh, there it is. One journal entry. Bera... Bera Dalmos. You're currently playing while watching? That's quite a talent, actually. Second Era 701. I've returned home from my travels and brought with me goods of peculiar design. My disdain for traversing through the rough winters of Skyrim was distracted by the amount of valuables I managed to collect. Luckily, not much snow collects here. Some of these metals appear to be forged with such precision. They have engraved Dwem Dwemeris characters and appear rather different than the others. I would normally be overwhelmed with ambition, but something else has caught my eye. Alongside these Dwemer artifacts sat a mysterious bowl that radiated with pristine beauty. It is apparent that it belonged to a more ancient culture despite its saturation. But I have yet to see anything like this, at least not within the ruins of the Dwemer. Could it be? No, the rumors could not be true. There would be promising evidence of this. Each time I peer back at the Alabastrian ceramic, I can only be reminded of the Skyrim snow. This expedition has me concerned. My thoughts just surround and drown in snow. I desire more evidence, yet require more rest. I'll gather some more leek to have for the stew tomorrow. It is, it is with deep regret, I hadn't settled in a place with more open land for harvests. However, I had no choice, as crossing into Skyrim from Hammerfell took quite the toll on my welfare. I will continue my research when the next sun shines. Oh no! He spat coffee all over the monitor. <laughs> uh, stairway to the Cloud District. Indeed. Oh, we need to find his dwelling. Okay, well, we'll go and uh, rest up in Rorikstead and take a look at the map and things. Man, this is really that that shrine is really in the middle of nowhere. I mean that that teleport way shrine. Yeah, my favorite mace from the vanilla game is um, the Nordic one that goes with the Nordic carved set. I really, really like that mace. I think it's the best looking by far. I also have a mod called Believable Weapons, which makes the, well, it makes all the weapons smaller, but it makes, in particular, it makes the, uh, the mace a little bit more reasonable in size. Little leader bounty, a book collecting job, a bunch of collection things. Uh, a missive to deliver. Forsworn bo leader bounties. Most of these things are above our pay grade at the moment.
Uh, my favorite bow is uh, is actually the spring steel one from, I think is from Immersive Weapons, but vanilla. Hmm. Probably the imperial bow. It's it's kind of you know it's got a fairly good aesthetic and it's it's fairly re like realistic. Um, a lot of the other stuff is like super over the top. All the, the glass and the the uh, dragon bone stuff and the daedric stuff. It's all like kind of over the top. Do I actually have... I don't have enough gold to stay here. Hmm. Uh, actually what I need is gold. Need something? Could, I, could I beg some... a coin or two from you? Get away from me. Oh no. <laughs> I only take real coin here. No handouts then of course you got the bound bow, which is really nice too. No handouts. Oh dear. Take a look. I think we're okay as far as food's concerned, but can I? I can't really sell him anything. I need, I need food. No, I do. No, oh, I could maybe. I could sell that. Here, take that. And then give me a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. We are I'll show you to your room. the absolute right. definition of broke. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thanks. Oh, really? Somebody else sleeps here? That's great. All right, well, let's do... How, how hungry are we? Hungry and thirsty and things. We're currently quenched and sated and only slightly tired. Perfect. So we will... Uh, study this. Yes. Ooh, that cost a 21. I was expecting it to be only uh, ten, another 10%. So first time reading it, we got to 10%. But the second time, we got to 21%. So that's pretty good. Am I hungry yet? Can I do some more reading? Or I, th I think you actually need to spend time. I don't think you can just go right ahead and read more, right? No, can't focus. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the Adra and Daedra book. We haven't actually re read this. We picked this up at the Shrine of Standar. The designations of gods, demons, Adra, and Daedra are universally confusing to the layman. They are often used interchangeably. Adra and Daedra are not relative terms. They are elvish and exact. Azura is a Daedra, both in Skyrim and Morrowind. Aedra is usually translated as Ancestor, which is as close to Cyrodiilic as Cyrodiil can come to this elven concept. Daedra means, roughly, not our ancestors. This distinction was critical to the Dunmer, whose fundamental split in ideology is represented in their mythological genealogy. Aedra are associated with stasis. Daedra represent change. Aedra created the mortal world and are bound to the earth bones. Daedra, who cannot create, have the power to change. As part of the divine contract of creation, the Aedra can be killed. Witness Lorcan and the moons. The Protean, Protean? Daedra, for whom the rules do not apply, can only be banished. Okay. And that's basically our job 
As a worshiper of Stendars, one of the vigilance is to banish Daedra. That's our primary goal. And let's also take a look at this. Gained light armor insight. Not that that's particularly helpful. Lord Jornabrit's Last Dance. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a poem. That's really long. Okay, we won't read that right now. So, Jimmy, you prefer the Nordic bow. Not quite as strong as the dragon bone or Daedric, but you love the design. It's also one of the shortest ones. Okay, so I think we're pretty much caught up on our reading. Might be able to actually sell some of these books too. All right, so now we've got, this is a really cool mod. The um, reading is good. The reading is good makes it that when you read a skill book, instead of just giving you a flat increase to your skill, it gives you a percentage increase to leveling up that skill. So like right now we have a 4% increase for light armor, restoration, speech, and enchanting. Sadly, light armor we're not, uh, not actually using, but uh, we are using restoration speech and enchanting so that's super nice that's actually going to speed speed along the build a little bit so it's still fairly early but i don't think there's really anything else we can do we can pray our favor is going up nicely 29.3 percent And yeah, I think that's about it. I guess we'll just sleep until, let's say six. And you are ready to learn more, but we don't quite have that ready to go. Oh, we don't have actually have any water. Okay, well, let's eat Um, that. I'm full. And I have to go and buy some water. Oh, I don't have... Oh, no. Well, I can sell some mead in exchange for a bit of water, maybe? <laughs> I hope. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. Um. Take a look. Hmm. Okay. So if I sell you this mead, can I buy some water? Of course. Perfect. And some more? Of course. Okay, now we're once again as poor as we can possibly get. But we're gonna have to hold on to that water for a little later. Yeesh. Okay, being good does not pay. I think all the bows, well, that's where you get bowgasm, because then all the bows look like nice, slender, beautiful things. All right, well, we're making our way to Solitude. And uh, taking out any wolves and things we come, come across along the way. Usually there's bandits down here, too. Can anybody recommend some good mods for we're adding more locations, like more discoverable locations around the around the um, the map, because like you know how uh, like the plains here are pretty empty. There's a, there's a lot of space. Maybe something that adds more dungeons, more uh, like small like small ruins, you know. 
Yeah, Ik Ikiro were only Ichio. No, Ichio? I keep messing up your name. I'll call you Fuma. How about that? Uh, yeah, we just got started a few minutes ago. Nothing major. A wizard is never late. Wasn't that a, um... Wasn't that a Sorcerer Dave video from, uh... From his Morrowind playthrough? Okay, there's somebody just kind of hanging out over there. And there's also somebody hanging out over there. Forgotten dungeons? Hello? What can I do for you? You just just chilling here in the grass, are you? Hey, can you help me with something? No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh! I just took her out in one hit. Are the other guys? No, the other guys are not alerted to us. Okay, we're gonna do this kind of carefully. Apparently she didn't I didn't get into the trigger zone there. <laughs> I will take that. Oh sorcerer Dave got it from Tolkien, okay. Tolkien. Tolkien, not Tolkien. Ow, ow, that's two people. Ow, oh god. Oh boy, um, yes. Oh, nice move. I can do that too. My health is like zero, absolute zero. Oh, and I'm being shot at too. I can't regenerate that uh, stamina. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Yep. Death definitely awaits me. Oh, there's another one. What? They got an elf too? Ah. Okay. Adds 30 or so more dungeons. Nice. Ichiro. Oh, I was right last time. I started calling you itchy. Oh, no. Level up. Thank you. Elf? Uh, yes, uh, Steve, we actually do have a Vigilant installed. Going to be uh, joining them fairly soon. I still don't have Restoration, so I guess getting this is kind of not going to help. Uh, smithing is currently at half of level, half towards level two. Excellent. Okay, we could put a point in blocking. And also put a point in one-handed, which would also would which would of course save us a bit. Who's Tinvac and Elysium? Are that is that? Two people that have big mod lists on, like, uh, Nexus or something like that. Uh, should I go for just the flat 20% more damage? Mm, where's our heavy armor? Heavy armor we can't do anything with. So we're doing block or one-handed. 
I'm leaning towards block. Oh, I... Why can't I put a point on... Oh, I already have Gladiator. Okay. Well, flat damage it is. Okay, let's try going this way. I can't believe how many bandits they've got around here. Can we take out the person from... Uh-oh. Oh! That one's invisible. Okay, we're, we only have one. A bandit whisperer, eh? Done, but I think I, ha I attracted the attention of the others. Yep. Oh boy. Okay. Gotten stuck. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this could work. What, what do you have? I, I did think about Forgotten Magic. I do have uh, Triumvirate installed for their sort of pa uh, the for the um, cleric spells. Okay, did I? I have already leveled up. Okay, so yeah, we really cannot take any damage. Oh, I can do jump down attacks, you're right. And where is that whisper? Oh, I see them. Ah! Ow! Great, so now I just... Oh, God. <sighs> well, I'm glad I'm playing on Adept, because I would have no chance at all here if it wasn't. That's a super sneaky uh, archer. Can they just stay invisible for like lengths of time? What stuff is in Arcanum that would be good for uh, good for a paladin? I can see her. I can see you right there, girl. You're not fooling anybody. How are you? Oh god. Think you can take me? I think you can take me. Not the other way around. Where was the third person? There was somebody in elven armor over here. Oh. Well, you're not in. <laughs> How am I gonna take on three? Why can you guys not find me here? Oh god. I don't normally play in uh, third person, that's for sure, but the mods I've got installed actually makes, I think, would be much easier to do in third person than in first person. 
Because we got the whole uh, dodge roll thing. If I did that in first person, I would not be able to see anything. For example, oops, dodge roll in third person, dodge roll in first person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not good. Can, can you get, can you stand up instead of dodge rolling? Thank you. Flames, don't have flames. Don't have a flush spell. Don't have a healing spell. Actually, I used up my healing po- No, I didn't use my healing potion this time. Where is she? I don't see her this time. Hmm. Ah. I see you now. I'm gonna try and she- She really does stay invisible until she attacks. That is not fair. This is giving you Kingdom Come Deliverance flashbacks. No kidding. All right, lady. Time to shoot at me. There you go. Give your position away. Perfect. Ow, that did not work. Now I have no stamina. Oh god. And here they come. Here everybody comes. They're all coming. And she's now not taken out, so she can just back up and sh shoot me. Ow. I'll see you I just saw an arrow fly by and another one into my head. Oh, I don't have a ward either. I have no spells whatsoever. I'm starting to think that this is not actually possible for me to do. Yeah, dodging in, in first person in this is not, not, not a good time. Okay, she's down. Got one down. Now I just need to regenerate all my ma all, all my magic, all my stamina. Oh, I need respite, man. I need healing and I need respite. Okay, okay, okay. This could work. This could work. Where'd he go? Oh. I think we connected at the same time. I think I have the... Is that the archer up there? Yeah, not much of a vigilant yet. Technically, I'm not a vigilant yet. I am currently a... Pilgrim. Who wants to join the vigilants? Oh, did I do it? I think I did it. I think I did it, guys. Oh, running smashes for the win. <laughs> okay. Okay, we can do this. It only took 17 tries. I have health, magic, and stamina set to disappear uh, when they're full. Ultimate dodge mod does not require a hotkey. So is it just, is it a double tap or? So I have a TK Dodge installed, but that doesn't seem to be... That doesn't seem to be working for me for some reason. Ooh, look how pretty that, uh, that fall looks. Okay. We made it. Now this is... Yeah, this road past uh, these guys is the only way to solitude, isn't it? Am 
My heart's still pounding after that fight. Thank you, everybody. Couldn't have done it without your support. I did not catch an axe with my teeth that time. <laughs> Yeah, that water looks terrible from this distance. Me. Okay, I'll definitely take a look at the uh, ultimate dodge mod. Might want to replace it. Replace what I've got with that. Okay, so the going through there is probably suicide. There's another uh, invisible bandit just popped up there. Great, great. That is a saber cat. We are definitely not going to fight them. I need to use the MCM to get the dodge going. I, I currently have it as the sneak thing, just the default one. Right? The dodge roll is that. You can change it to a hotkey. See the I don't have a I don't have a thing set up for TK dodge, so did that not install properly? Okay, let's see. You're saying that when I even when I took damage, she still couldn't see my health bar. Um immersive HUD. Should always be active during combat. They have it on fast hide. Refresh rate as half a second. Oh, it was being it was covered over by the typing area on mobile. Okay. Okay, so there are some instruct clearly some instructions I missed on getting TK working with uh, CGA. Whoa. Ah. Uh, Okay. Oh, is this... Is this the deer that the... That's strange. I think the saber cat killed this deer and then the deer popped up at my feet. Okay, sure. Is the Carnage mod that like super bloody one that's basically too bloody even for for uh, YouTube? I saw somebody review that. I don't know if that's the mod. Maximum Carnage. That is the mod. It actually got blurred out by uh, Brodul when he was uh, when they were reviewing it. The dodge in CGO is the same as the TK dodge, so it doesn't really do anything interesting. Okay. I mean, might as well just use the one, right? Hey guys, how's it going? How's the war? Fortunately, Augustus here could care less about 
what's going on with the war and Balmer and stuff. I mean, he doesn't like them, but he's not involved. Oh, there's a fight going on. What is going on? Uh, okay, that's not good. That is multiple enemies. Okay, there's some sort of fight going on between the... It looks like elves are attacking the town. That's too bad. A sidestep, um, sidestep dodge would be actually really nice if it worked well. Oof, that's bright. Wanted to have a nice look at the uh, solitude from the distance. Bro Duel is a coward confirmed. I guess they don't want to get their uh, channel banned. Feeling a bit peckish. I have zero money. They they don't have a board. They just have the regular board, right? The um, a notice board, which is the bigger bigger quest. They don't have any missives, I don't think. Is it um, uh, what's it called um? Bears of the North? That mod looks fantastic. And if it isn't that, has anybody checked that mod out? The morning sun really is gorgeous in Obsidian. Paladin that sits back and watches a fight. Yeah. When there's like five enemy blips on my compass. <laughs> Maybe one day. One day we'll I'm I'm sure one day we will be, be so strong. That we'll just charge right in there. Giants and dragons and whatever. Uh, level three right now, low tier. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if I only had 500 gold. Need something. I need a follower. Do you barter at all? Not my problem. No. Guess not. Northern Sage. I haven't uh I haven't checked that one out. You've come to Solitude to join the Legion. Speak I've been using um, Cathedral Weathers and Seasons for quite a while, but uh, this was the first time I've actually gone back to Obsidian after. I used to only use Obsidian for a long time. I should check out Northern Sage, though. Hey, can't your Uncle Vlog here? Tell them he didn't 
do it. Position. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother. Traitor! You betrayed us. Traitor! You betrayed us. Oh, Saga. Northern Saga. Okay, gotcha. Traitor! Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Oh, it's an a specialized obsidian weather mod. Hmm. There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Oh, that's a good point. Such is the ancient custom. Go and do the uh, quest for the apothecary. Breaking with the pack and not playing my pa my paladin is lawful stupid. <laughs> More of a pragmatist at this stage. All right, one dude down. I'm gate guard. You were. We have a fine selection of herbs here at Angela's Aromatics. You're a traveler, correct? Uh, have you yes. Been to White Run? The way. This is the humble journey of a cowardly acolyte that, through the power and grace of Stendar, discovered violent zealotry. Yes, exactly. Um, have I been to White Run? Yes? Yes. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter Fura was assigned to White Run after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Well, I haven't met her, but I could maybe try to get some more information. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. Yes, shield. Get ourselves a shield. Maybe I should try making, maybe a shield should be the next thing I make. Lawful stupid is the only type of paladin. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Whoop. There's another way to play. Aromatics. Do you sell perfumes? We mostly carry herbs and alchemical ingredients. That sort of thing. Before the war, our stock was mostly used for aromatic use in homes. Yes. These days, we have more people like you coming in, looking for healing and the like. I see. All right. Need something? I don't suppose you would have a coin or two. Get away from me. Oh. Can't believe I've turned to begging. Stendar. Stendar, what why have you forsaken me? Okay, Captain I'm thirsty. Of course I am. Captain Aldous. Was he literally just standing up there yelling out, I've got armor and things? Hmm. Another quiet day, I hope. By the way, thanks everybody for the tempered... What's it called? Tempered skins? Tempered... Tempered males? Something like that. That uh, redoes all the faces. And it's not like, they're not super pretty. They're kind of still a little bit dirty and grizzled, but cleaned up. Less blocky, I guess. Um, so you were presiding over the execution, right? Not my finest hour. Rogvir was a fine and honorable man. Lawful evil oathbreaker paladin. <laughs> no. Do you, do you think what he did was right? 
Sorry, how could you execute a fine and honorable man? Sometimes you just do what needs to be done. You don't have to hate a man to kill him. Though, admittedly, it helps. Huh. I assume you're with a legion? That I am. We train the recruits. Turn boys into men. That sort of thing. Thinking of asking the general for some training books. Give the soldiers something to do while they're unrest. Something besides drinking. Ever seen a book called The Mirror? We used to hand it out to boys looking to learn basic shield work. What's the 5x5 five five chart? Um, if I find a book, that book I could bring it to you. Good on you. Bring the mirror to all this. And um, so long as I'm doing a favor for you, maybe you could do a favor for me. Angeline was asking about her daughter. Generally posting information is need to know only. I'm not exactly going to threaten him I, that I need to know. Don't you think Angelina, Angeline needs to know? I'm sorry, I can't help you. Damn it. Okay, well, later. That's the way it is. All right. Apparently I need to be better at speech as well. Where is my, what's my speech level at? 12. See, we're, we're just killing it right now. Yeesh. All right, well, let's, I think the, Come on now. I want those arrows dead the, set. um, Temples in here. No, you know what? I should probably not run through a temple. The Emperor's cousin Vittoria Vici is getting married soon. The reception will be public. Anyone in solitude can attack. Oh, I took a look at the Pandorable set of mods. And, uh, the women are beautiful. I'm just like, the only place that that level of makeup actually makes sense is in a place like Solitude, or maybe the, some of the Jarl's palaces and stuff, but the rest of it is a bit, uh, ridiculous for, uh, for the rest of Skyrim. Beaches for the bards. Well, that's an idea. Give a coin. I don't have... I don't even have a single coin. <laughs> and I'm thirsty, so I'm going to drink my last bit of water. Alright, guys. We made it to the third of our stops. They say the college but we definitely need to do... Uh, some quests to get some cash. We're getting super poor. Hey, I'll try intimidating him. I don't know if that'll work, but... Another quiet day. About Angeline. Generally posting information is need to know only. I need to know. If you want to know that bad, then fine. I was able to intimidate this guy. The skirmishes there have been violent. The white one legged, he needed to know the storm positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morag, outing party. She needs to be told. She needs to be told, but you won't tell her. Focus on your target. Well, thanks, Jiru, for the suggestion to intimidate him. I was not expecting that to work. Don't suppose this guy has, like, a delivery job or something we could maybe do? Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? Well, not exactly. Um, do you make armor for the Imperials? It's almost all I have time for these days. The men training here in solitude and the troops out in the field. They all need weapons and armor. You should look into joining. They could use every hand they can get. 
You're pretty dedicated to the, to the Empire, then? Uh, to be honest, no. But High King Torig supported them. And now, her Lady Elisif has thrown in with them. You could say I'm a king's man at heart. I guess that's Jarl's man now. My loyalty lies with solitude. So, where Jarl Elisif leads, I follow. Yeah, Daffodil probably would have turned it into some sort of threesome with one of the bar wenches. <laughs> uh, have you considered getting out there and fighting? I think I would, if it weren't for my son and my wife. Oh, same I would have my hide if I even suggested I might step foot on a battlefield. You think storm cloaks and legionnaires are dangerous? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, right on. Something? Um, do you do any training? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, well, let's go have the sad conversation with Angeline about her daughter and get a few bucks out of her. That's just, that's just nasty. Hello, I'm... Oh, uh, hello, what, who, where? Welcome to the center of the world. Or at least my brother Eriker's world. Doesn't seem... That doesn't seem like a good attitude. So Erica's your brother? Yes, my older brother. And the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. But really, since Torig's death, Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's court. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. Doesn't seem like a very good attitude. Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the bards. They'll fake it for you if nothing else. If you're looking for truth instead, see Noster. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. Okay. Need something? And this would be the appropriate response. Isn't it lovely weather we're having? It would seem so. <laughs> Ah, perfect. Uh, him. It's good to see a fresh face. You the son have of the innkeeper. White Who's the white son white? of the innkeeper? Um, yeah, I have some news about your daughter. You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? I'm afraid your daughter is dead. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. If this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals and we had no part in it, she just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. And? Um... Wait. Isn't she supposed to give us something? Hello, friend. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. She was calling me a friend. She didn't actually give me anything. Did she give me cure disease? Or did I already have that? I can't remember. Ah, huh, well, I'll give her the antlers. Oh, some of her items can be taken freely and turned into potions. I can't do alchemy, though. I can take her... I could take them and... Take care, dear seems kind of weird to sell them back to her. You don't get an actual request reward, but I do get... I don't know, that just seems wrong. Nope. Nope. I'm not taking your stuff. Sorix Vinius has a quest. Is he in the... Oh, I still don't have a... Oh, I do have a coin. Spare some gold for a veteran? Sure. Oh, thank you. The 
divines bless your kind heart. So what's your story? I was the finest scout in the Legion once. Tracked down all the places in the wilds that were causing people trouble. Lost my helmet in one of the old caves. My pretty, pretty helmet. Life just got worse after that. Kept losing things. So many things. Would you like me to get your precious back for you? Oh, you could? I sure would love to have it again. Could show you some of my old scouting tricks. I mean, yeah, the money is burning a hole in my pocket. Were you really in the army? What? You see a man falling on hard times, and you think he's been like that forever? I was there. I fought in the Great War. I was on the field at Anvil. And when I was struck down, they left me. You understand? They left me for dead. I didn't leave them. Hmm. Need something? Um. Can you train me in anything? Nah, I don't think so. Reputation mod. Oh, yes, the reputation mod. I completely forgot about that thing. That thing was a little bit buggy, if I remember right. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. Oh, of course, trying to find his son is going to be interesting since I don't actually have uh, uh, names Skeever, friend. on anybody. Any rumors? Varnius Junius stopped by here on his way to court. He was worried about something. I'm sure Falk Firebeard could tell you what. Hmm. Okay. Remember the winking skeever next time your foot sore. Is his son running around town by any chance? Probably one of the kids that's playing like hide and seek, right? Need to go over here and check the board anyway. Who is on the left? Okay, I'll go back. What do we got? We got clear out steep fall barrow, collect some petty soul gems, deliver a potion to the solitude mill. Now that is something we can definitely do. Uh, the non-name, um, I'm not sure. I'll check, I'll s check, see if I can find which mod that is. Retrieve an artifact from Volskiga. Retrieve an heirloom from Shadow Green Cavern. Hunt a thief. Hunting the thief might be an option, but we, that's all the way down towards Markarth, and that is not in the direction we're going. So I'm gonna take. Um, of I'm gonna go first of all. I'm gonna go and talk to talk to the guy over here and see about his quest. People are strangers. Is that what it's called? I also have the a mod that gives names to random like NPCs that don't have names. Does this guy? Seems there's always more to be done. Perfect. Um, you were at the execution, right? I showed up to watch. Yeah. I don't know if they were right to execute him for what he did, but I'll tell you something. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. That seems rather harsh. Listen, Rogvir and I grew up together. It was us, a few others, and Vivian. Vivian Onus. This is an old I have no idea why, but protectors. one day I told Rogvir I liked her. It was a stupid thing to, to do. He mocked me incessantly after that. Gone. From that point well, forward, every time Vivian and I were anywhere close to each other, he made sure to humiliate me. We'll he beat me up, dumped mead on my head, anything he could get away with. Once he even slipped a beehive into my bed. We were children, sure, but Rogvir never outgrew that immaturity or his cruelty. So any talk about him being an honorable Nord? Pure folly. Hmm. Interesting. 
We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. Deliver the alcohol to Folk. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes. People of Skyrim is an incredible mod. Unfortunately, the ver uh, version 2 requires a massive amount of patches for just about everything. Yeah, talk crap about somebody after they're dead. <laughs> a legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero, paint a warrior's heart. Real names. Thank you, Elfin. That's the one. So who's in charge of Solitude? Yo, the fair. Poor woman. Losing her husband and king like that. It was a dark day for us all. Damn. That reminds me. I have a delivery to make to her steward, Falk Firebeard. He ordered a special bottle of Strauss Mackay rum. I can deliver that for you. Save me a lot of trouble. Here, take it to the Blue Palace. And do you work here? You could say that. I own the place. Well, okay. My father owns the Winking Skeever, but it's the family business, so it'll be mine when he kicks off. You completely suck. Need something? <laughs> Total jerk. By the way, it's really nice weather. Maybe you should get outside. That would seem so. Yeah, I think I'm getting super thirsty at this stage, so there you go. All right, heading up to the Blue Palace. Then on our way back, we'll grab that potion delivery quest. Potion delivery is probably not a huge amount of money, but it's something. Might be able to even buy us uh, a bed when we need it, but it's it's 12, so we're okay for now. Um, quenched. Yeah, we're not even tired. We're not tired or hungry or anything. Oh, no, we're slightly peckish. Slightly peckish. The college has been snooping around Sarthor. Mages in the burial crypt? No good. Death consumes all. taking this uh, remove that and add oh we're just taking it to Falk okay no problem I swear to you unnatural magics are coming from that cave there are strange noises and lights we need someone to investigate then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the... Oh, it adds names to all the dragons as well. That's cool. We are definitely going to have to kill the dragon priests with this build. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for. There's a quest for Radiant Raymond as well. I'll go and uh, chat to them as well. Thank you, Yar Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Vargas. Rest easy. You're dismissed. Alright, Falk. As you know, Solitude. Do you have business with the court? The war I have a delivery from Sorex. All oh, right, the rum. This Thank you. I developed a taste for it after a fair weather trip to Hammerfell. Here, this is for you. If we go to um, Wolf Skull Cave before accepting the quest from here, I think it's just bandits, right? We might be able to clear out the bandits, come back, get the quest, go back and clear out all the necromancers. 
That is a possibility. Surely you're not that naive. Such foolishness would only leave us defenseless. The rebels would storm the palace in an afternoon. What will happen if LSF, to LSF, if the Empire wins the war? That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. By the way, does anybody know about the lore? Why does Elisif have rights to become queen? Like, that's not how hereditary monarchies work, right? You... It would be um, Torig's child, not his wife, that has rights to become uh, the next ruler. So does she have some sort of claim on the throne as well? Or is that or is that not a hereditary monarchy at all? It's some other kind of ache on monarchy. Feel free to return to me with, with questions. Own funds. Okay, number one, did you give me money? 76 gold. We're rolling in it now, guys. Rolling in it. I should get rid of that. I wonder if anybody wanted to buy that. Positively rolling in dosh. Really? Some monarchies would allow you, allow the wife to take power. The wife of the king. That's really interesting. Yeah, the moot would have to vote her in. I don't understand why she's Jarl either, because that also is not really, doesn't really make a lot of sense. But anyway. I guess she's Jarl because she's been backed by the Emperor. Three, we have three customers and no patrons. Okay, that's weird. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely. Yeah, if they have a child, then she could be regent. There was one situation like this in Polish history. Oh, that's true. Ulfric just made claim to High King, too. Alright, so... Well, I don't know where the two sisters are. Oh, wait, am I in the wrong place? I didn't go into the... I went in bits and bobs, didn't I? That's... Yeah, it doesn't... And it just says enter. It doesn't have... I think I meant to go in here. Come in and shut the door. Hello? Why hello, here to buy? If you have to ask the price. I think her face actually looks worse with this mod. What's wrong with my outfit? Nothing at all. It's very nice. If you want something with a little more style, however. You should see what we have available. Yeah, do you always insult people when you meet them? It's not an insult, just an observation. If I were walking around... Yeah, maybe that's the way it works in Tamriel. ...to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where attire is concerned. 
So what should I wear to the Blue Palace? You're really going to the Blue Palace. Oh, I've actually already that been there, but... Opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Uh, okay. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raymond. Interesting. Need something? Do you do any training? Nah, I don't think so. Of course you don't. Okay, so what is this outfit that she's given me? Oh my. Okay. I should probably get rid of the gloves or the gauntlets while I'm at it. Yeah, interesting. Well, that's too bad that I didn't uh, get this quest before I ran up to the Blue Palace. She insults you even if you're wearing clothing that you bought from her store. <laughs> Yeah, all of this is being manipulated by the Thalmor and interfered with by the Empire. And today's sponsor, sponsor for this stream is Radiant Raiment. For all your fine bird cloak needs. Uh-oh. She has left court. Um. Ah. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. We lost another five cards. Um what do you think of my outfit? It's quite fetching, actually. The craftsmanship is excellent. It was made by Radiant Raymond. Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. Hey, I did it! And now that we got that out of the way, why did Ulfric kill your husband? Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before a woman husband, king. He shouted with that terrible voice, like something out of a legend or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he, he simply ceased to be. That is all I will say, for it grieves me to speak of it. Okay. Pretty interesting. It's like, uh, my playthrough of that mod for um, Mountain Blade Warband, where uh, I was going to become uh, Molly, the the woman, the girl who would be king. She never actually made it that far because she kept losing her troops. <laughs> but that was the goal. Are you High Queen of Skyrim? Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Your rightful place? Hmm. -hmm. Interesting. Well, that's all fascinating. I just thought I'd let you know that it's a beautiful day. It would seem so. Great. Okay, we can sell that for a few pennies, really, I guess. I'm just going to go sell that right back to Radiant Raymond. <laughs> Here you guys go. Enjoy with my compliments.
Hey, Chris. Glad you could make it. You know what's nice is we can actually load up on some water this time. Got some money. Uh, we can sell off this thing and we can deliver that potion which is going to give us some more money and then I could use a nap apparently. Great. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and... Hey, look at that. Somebody's actually looking at the board. I like your cool. Are you a sorcerer from the college? No. What do you do around here? I'm a bard. I'm a bard's college here in solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. You mean old Bioware or new Bioware? Need something. Uh, do you trade? All right then. Oh, you do. You have two gold. Two gold. I could buy pretty much nothing from you. I can buy some sl a seared slaughterfish. Twenty-five gold. How am I doing for food? I think I'm okay still. I need to uh, hook that. All right, let's grab that. I gotta go to Angeline for that. Then I'm just gonna grab water. So I'm thing and get the heck out of here. Got a pretty full stock of so our next stop is going to be wait 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 wonder why they made her so suspicious like she follows you around as soon as you step into your into her store um i'm here for the delivery job of course excellent that needs to be delivered uh quickly quickly she paid me a hundred gold for that yeah, I'm I'm insensitive that way. I just was like, um, yeah. So, why did Ulfur kill your husband? Come in and shut the door. Ooh. Oh wait, yes, you. Why hello, here to buy. That worked. She loved the outfit. That's wonderful. You've done us a great service. As promised, the outfit is yours, and here's something for your trouble. Ooh. And, oh, you don't actually trade. Ah, that's too bad. Hey, you. You trade. Oh, what delight. So both of the sisters are complete jackasses. Ah, that's a bit shaky. Let's see if we can't find an outfit that suits you. Here is your thing back. Enjoy. Do you get a lot of business? Radiant Raiment has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. Okay. Do you have a bad day? It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. I see. Need something? <laughs> Do you train in assholery? Nah, I don't think so. Lawful stupid with the emphasis on stupid. <laughs> okay, let's get some water and run down to the solitude mill. How are, how's our cash situation doing? Woo! Three, almost three hundred gold. Yes. Welcome to the winking skeever, friend. Can I get some water? Of course. Excellent, and more. Of course. And some more. Of course. Perfect. Thank you very much. Remember the winking skeever next time your foot's sore. I will. Yes, do tell the cheese sauce recipe. Butter, flour, milk, three types of cheese, a little salt and pepper. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds real good. Sure. 
Yeah, post that in the foodies uh, channel in the Discord. That would be great. So I believe it's. Oh no no no! It's the uh, the sawmill, not the uh, not the farm. Underborn is not included in this. I did think about that, having the whole hunting, you know, hunting for my own food thing going too, but uh, I decided to save that, uh, that along with Frostfall and um, like the more and camping and all that, save all of that for more of a survival playthrough. Ah, it's you. What are you doing? Wait, dude, I need to talk to you. I have a potion for you. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Here, this is for you. Chops my dick off with his axe. Need something? Uh, do you barter? Not my problem. No. Okay. That was, that was pretty brutal. We're at almost 400 gold. Okay, and we, uh, three o'clock already. Hmm. All right, so we want to go to the Vigilance over here. Should I just take the carriage, maybe? If you get good enough at foraging with Hunterborn, you can search specifically for food. Hmm. No, it's cool as I, uh, I hear that there's now, uh, some patches, some mod patches to make Frostfall the temperature vary with the seasons, which is pretty amazing. There's also some other really cool survival mod things, like expansions to the, um, the uh, skill system that uh, Campfire uses. How much is it going to cost me? I mean, I'm so rich now. I can probably just take a carriage. Where do you want to go? I want to go to... It's Hjalmarch? I think it's Hjalmarch. That's uh, Win well, uh, Morthal, right? Stop along the way. Well, that's only 60. I'll take Driving that. Back. That's good. Morthal, the capital of the All March Hold. Not quite in the same league as Solitude or Life Run, but a nice enough place. In your life you put a little bit of garlic powder in the water while you're cooking the pasta. That's an interesting idea. Hmm. Okay, so we are here. I'm starting to get a little bit tired. Do I want to... Hmm. Is there a way over the... I don't think there's a way over the mountain here, is there? Because the Vigilance is somewhere... This is the, the thing. I think the Vigilance is right... The Vigilance Hall is right there. Can I just kind of come around, scoot around there? Marching off to Hjal. 
actually. Let's just check the board here, see if they have any anything interesting. Pasta blasphemy, the garlic powder. Wakey wakey, missive board. There you go. Clear it, brood cavern. Collect salmon meat. Deliver a letter. Hey, deliver a letter to Stonehills. I'm going that way. Yes, indeed. Lammy's yet yeah, letter. That is the, uh, the alchemist. Snort some moon sugar. I should be able to cover that distance in no time. I hope I have what you need. I'm telling you, I heard it howling. Those werewolf tales are true. You think the hall is closer to Dawnstar? It's closer than it looks. I'm here about the delivery job. Of course. I think the um, letter deliveries are only like 25 gold, but I will take it. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Well, not really an alchemist, more of a, you know, getting beaten up and needing some healing type of person. And uh, do you have a hard time finding supplies? No, no. Well, sometimes, but that's not the problem. I just often don't have much to do, so I tend to try things out. They don't usually work, but I try. Next thing I know, I've used up most of my stock. Whoops. Um, oh, I can't start her quest? Doesn't she have the quest for the Song of the Alchemists? Hmm, okay. Need something? Half the distance between Dawnstar and the Hall, then from Morthal to the Hall. Oh, you mean I could take the, uh, take the carriage down there. Ah, uh, we're going to Stone Hills anyway. Uh, lovely weather. It would seem so. Hey, somebody actually said that the weather, or agreed that the weather is nice in Morthal. What do you know? Normally they're like, yeah, it can't be helped. I'm like, what's wrong with the weather? It's perfectly fine. Blurg, I say. I say blurg to you all. Song of the, Song of the Alchemist is for me? I'm, I will use potions, but I'm not making potions. Oh, you can only have so many miscellaneous fetch quests at the same time. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. Well, we gotta go find a helmet. We need to bring that. Also need to find Leafnar. And we need to find a bunch of uh, teeth. And it's starting to snow. And we're getting spat at. Oh, come on. I got spatted at, and I got... I, mi I completely missed that swing. Me. Oh, I need to eat and drink, right? No, just hungry. Slow stamina regeneration. I think it also, it seems to also slow down your speed. I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's have some, oh, I need to cook that. So let's have the baked potatoes and an apple. No longer hunger. Hung no longer thirsty. I don't think I shouldn't really be hungry anymore. Uh, good point. Could have just taken the carriage to Dawnstar. Oh well, we got an extra quest along the way, so that's that's good. Why am I running so slow? Oh, 
Oh, hello. These guys got off, what, to pee? Yeah, they must have. Just had a big uh, hit in dropped frame. Sorry about that. I need to get myself a horse too at some point. I take my clothes off or run faster. Actually, it's probably my uh, my gauntlets. All right, who's the guy? What? What was that? Who are you guys? If you know Stormcloak any leader? Of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Okay, what the... Stormcloaks and Imperials. Fighting right here. Okay. Yeah, isn't that great? Witcher music goes so well with Skyrim, it's incredible. The Irish pipes are calling. Huh? I have a letter from Lammy for you. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Thanks. Need something? And I just thought I'd rub it in that the weather's well. Great. Actually, it's snowing. So you're probably better off inside. Can't be helped. Yeah. There you go. Now, I actually played that uh, survival mod for Witcher 3 that adds uh, needing to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's kind of... <sighs> Well, I wouldn't say it's in like indiscreet in the way it handles it, but it probably I don't know. Maybe it couldn't really be handled any better. Wow, they they really got into it here, man. Oh, I could have picked ah, you know what? We'll be here at some point. I could have picked up a quest, but that's all the way back in solitude, so. So if I take my gauntlets off, boy, that doesn't make much difference in my running speed. And I see magic going on up there. There's fire. That is a mage with a wolf. Great. They both missed me. <laughs> oh. Woohoo! <laughs> they both somehow missed me, and then I just clubbed him one right in the head. Hey, Chris. Yeah, I may use it. The like I said, I do want to check out what's going on with the um with the Vigilance first, although you, you were mentioning that the most of them are not really very Paladin-like. Um, but yeah, I might I might try that. I did notice it before and thought about it. I also have a retexture of the uh, Dawn Guard um, armor, like the heavy the heavy armor. So I might use that too. That's it. That's also in the steel section of the um, of the crafting tree so once we get our smithing up to the point where we can actually make either of those armor sets I'll maybe check them both out what the hell is oh. okay I thought that was a thing I think that is the vigilance 
right there. Great place to hunt some deer. And there it is. Yeah, I I also thought about using that, but uh I'm I'm not really that crazy about that armor. I don't know, somehow that that makes me think more of like a crusader rather than a paladin. I don't know. Hello. You speak to a vigilant of Stendhal. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. I wish there was a, like a mod to change the dialogue where they're a little bit less aggressive. You are a vigilant of Stendhal? Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra. Wandering Knight Armor. The vigil will be watching you. I am a fellow vigilant. Stendar's mercy be upon you, for the vigil has none to spare. You guys are so aggressive. Need something? Hmm. Do you barter? Not my problem. Okay, you don't. Very well. I'm just here to pay my respects to to our patron. I am the keeper of the vigil here in Skyrim. We bring Stendar's mercy to the innocent and his justice to the Daedra. You guys like don't know anything about mercy. Um, ooh, she trains in restoration magic. Hmm. Interesting. Need something? Hey, we finally got speech increased a bit. Do you barter at all? Not my problem. No, all right. Well, um, do you mind if I just pray to Stendar here? Blessings of Stendar upon ye. So I read something the other day that Polenial was supposed to be a cyborg from the future. Ah, uh, is that accurate? <laughs> it sounds a little crazy. I'm not even going to bother talking to these guys because they're all miserable. And uh, we'll, from a roleplay perspective, we will, what we'll say is that Keeper Carset said that there's no more room, there's no room available in this chapter of the uh, Vigilant, so she suggested that I go and s visit Dawnstar, where they're trying to set up a, a new chapter to take on new recruits, and that is where we're going right now. How's our... Our uh, skills going too. Beach is doing really well with that bonus. Block is going up slightly. Yeah, I, I think um, a shield might be the next thing we should build. There's a skill book inside. Wait! You have a habit of stealing garlic whenever you. and then. Uh, mixing that in with, uh, with pasta for mac and cheese. <laughs> skill book. Where's the skill book? Here's skill book. Uh, ooh. Delivers three point of, sh of static shock, 10% chance to deal five times the damage. Um, no book, no book. Here, skill book. Here, skill book. Skill book. 
Audrin Skillbook Here boy Basement It's really too bad that this place gets wrecked Ah Okay, very carefully Do not pick it up Perfect. Heavy armor, insight gained. Knights of the Nine. By Carolyn of Solitude. How long is this? Okay, that's a little bit long. But I am kind of curious. Hope you guys don't mind if I read this. Few people know, now remember the Knights of the Nine, but in their time, they were famous throughout Cyrodiil, indeed throughout the Empire. For a brief period in the early days of the Septum Empire, their adventures were the talk of the land, but their renown, as with so much else, was swallowed up by the War of the Red Diamond, and today, even the location of their priory house has been lost to history. The knights were founded by Sir M Amiel, Amiel Lannis of the Lannisters in the Third Era 111, following his heroic turn in the War of the Isle, with the high purpose of recovering the legendary Crusader's relics. The weapons and armor of Plenial White Strike, which had been lost for thousands of years. They were born out of the sense of optimism and ambition that characterized the first century of the Third Era. Tamriel was united and at peace for the first time in many centuries. Nothing was impossible. The fame of the knights was established early on when Sir M M M Miel led them against the worm of Elig Ellen Glen to recover the curus the querus of the crusader, which had not been seen since the first era. Soon, the greatest knights of the day were lining up to join the new order, and the Priory of the Nine in the West Weald of Cyrodiil became a magnet for the great and the good. The knights were the toast of the empire. When Beric Vel Velindril joined the order, the scion of one of the great noble families of Colovia, it was clear that the Knights of the Nine had, be Nine had become the Empire's most prestigious knightly order. In relatively short order, the Knights reclaimed three more relics, and their fame soared to new heights with each one. No one doubted that they would eventually succeed in their quest to recover all eight relics. Sadly, this early promise of the Knights did not survive the ravages of the War of the Red Diamond, which tore apart the Empire beginning in the Third Era 121. At first, it seems that Sir Amiel was able to keep his Knights out of the war, but the very success of the Knights undermined this, as many of the Knights came from important families from across the Empire which were lining up on either side of the bloody Civil War. Sir Beric was apparently the first to leave the Order to join the war on the side of Sepphoris, uh, carrying the sword and greaves of the Crusader into battle with him. Many other knights seemed to have left the Order shortly after this, some joining the war on, the, on one side or the other. The end of the Order was as ignominious as its beginning was glorious. Following the victory of Sepphoris in, thir in the Third Era, 127, Beric Vlindriel became an important figure on the winning side. It seems likely that he was behind the Imperial Decree which officially dissolved the Knights of the Nine in Third Era 131, although in truth this was little more than a formality. Despite Sir Emil's best efforts, the Order had never recovered from the bitterness of the Civil War. What happened to the various relics originally recovered by the Knights of the Nine? The Sword and the Greaves went with Sir Beric, but... Where he bestowed them is unknown. The gauntlets, gauntlets famously lie immovable on the floor of the Chapel of Stendar in, in Coral, where Sir Casimir left them after his disgraceful murder of a beggar in Third Era 139. The location of the Quiris is a mystery lost to history along with the eventual fate of Sir Emil, who was last reported still living alone in the empty pri Priory of the Nine by a passing traveler in the Third Era 150. And so the Knights of the Nine faded away into history. Fascinating. And then there is a, I think, ooh, the, the drop. Excellent. We don't want to steal it right in front of her. That would probably be very bad. Um, the quest... Oh, I should probably close that. 
The um, the Knights of the Nine Armor has a quest that's I think associated with that book, right? Ooh, what's this? Spell Tome Renounce. Eliminates the influence of Daedric Princes from the caster. Do I, does anybody know if I have to pick this up here or, because this is part of the Epic Restoration mod. I don't know if they are purchasable or if I need to pick them up here. I don't want to loot stuff though. Eh, you know, I'll leave it for now and if it's lost, if we can't purchase it, then I will uh, have to, um, have to use like add item menu or something to add it in. What is that, st that steam rising over there? Yeah, like, I mean, I can always just use the, uh, you know, add item thing to, to grab it. I don't want to pick up anything for free. What is this? What is this? It's just, just wind blowing the, on the snow? Hmm. Okay. Ended up getting nine followers. Now the, um, according to what I read for Nether's, Nether's, Nether's follower framework, uh, I can have 10 followers at a time, but I can also have up to a hundred people, uh, that are in different houses. We have one more. Where's the, where's the other guy? Did he run off? Hello. Did I get them all? I only see two. Oh no, there's the other one. It's just the wind blowing the snow. All right. Well, we have nearly made it to Dawnstar. So this is a fairly slow playthrough, but uh, deep in, you know, role play and such. Who's this guy? Who's that? Khajiit? Yes. Traveling alchemist? What do you have for sale? Take a look. Ooh, you got a potion. I'll take it. Speechcraft. Need something? Um, you train? Nah. Yeah. I don't think so. Get an entire movie theater room. Play video games for an hour. That's awesome. Yeah, the rune shield shouldn't be too bad of a of a thing for this. So many refuse to talk to us. They call us thieves and smugglers. I am glad to see that you are not such a one. Having trouble with the locals? Mostly, it is the Nords. They do not like outsiders in their land, and so we are forbidden to enter their cities. When they look upon us. They see only pickpockets and skooma dealers. It is most unfair. But we do our best to ignore them. 
Okay, how, how long have you been in Skyrim? Not long in truth. I came to Take Skyrim all the garlic. I found myself unwelcome in both elsewhere and Cyrodiil. I seem to have an unfortunate talent for getting myself involved in misunderstandings with the law. Rassad was able to look past <laughs> Just that. constantly eat garlic to keep vampires away. Up with a trade caravan. Now I work for him. And it's not that the vampires are actually afraid Take of the the uh, thing. It doesn't actually affect them. They're just like, man, this guy's breath is rank. Let's sell half of those. And I'll sell you that book. And I gotta keep that. Uh, I'm gonna have to cook that. Yeah. But don't smoke the moon sugar. Whatever you do, man. Whatever you do. Oh. Anything interesting here? Collect venison? Ah, we actually have two, but I would imagine we'd need more. A letter to Halart, Halli, Halliarchen. A weapon to Agna's mill. Gather frost salts, nightshade, silver ore. Hunt a fugitive in white run. Recover an heirloom. Help the Dawn Guard to defeat a vampire harem. And kill the Forsworn harem. What's with all the, these harems that are breaking out? Your sweat will be more rank than death. Ooh, you can actually use your breath like like uh, dragon's fire. Sounds good. I think that both of those places are yeah, like Hell Archon is here and Agnes Mill is here. So we could actually you know head in the direction of White of Windhelm and do both of those quests. So that's a possibility. Hey, she's wearing a, a fairly warm outfit. Look at that. Makes sense. And I love the mods I'm using. It makes the uh, guards look so much cooler, more varied. Need something? I like seeing the guards' faces. That's really nice. What do you think of this lovely weather? It can't be helped. Mm. Can't be helped. I'm staying out of peace. I'm getting out of here. Staying out of what? What? Okay. Okay, you're staying out of it. Good. It's a curse. It has to be. I've got to get out of It's a curse. I like that oh. look in your eyes. Would you like to join the vigilance of Stendar? Yes, you, like you, you must be hold your own. You must be the contact that Keeper Carset told me to look out for. With the, uh, mask over your face, though. Yes, anyway, yes, I would like to join. I'm glad to hear this. We'll be counting on you from now on. May Stendar bless you. Follow me. I will guide you through the Temple of Stendar. I think there is a mod to make pepperoni pizza, actually. Oh, he just gave me another amulet of Stendar. He also gave me... This. Old Histus Flask. Old Flask of Hist Sap illuminates the circumference of the owner. That's pretty cool. We're going to add that to our, um, our thing here. That'll be on seven. How am I doing for, for food? Peckish. Thirst. Slightly thirsty. Slightly tired. Okay, i got to follow him anyway. So I'm using, uh, yeah, go ahead. I'll follow you. I'm using several mods. Oh, he is stuck. Uh, one is open, open face guard helmets. Uh, the other one that changes their armor. Oh, I can't remember offhand what it's called. It is in my mod list, but I'm not sure which one it is.
And then, of course, the facial mods and stuff are also changing the way they look. You must have mods is the only way. Oh, you're kind of, I'm surprised you were able to pathfind over that. Oh. Okay, your pathfinding got a little bit screwed up there. What, where are you going? Right. I'm liking these traveler mods too, adding a few more people on the roads and stuff. I really miss the patrols that they had in Oblivion. So this is Altano, not to be confused with uh, Ancano. Look, check out his uh, sword thing. But it is a sword, right? It is a very curved sword. Uh, there are several invisible um, helmet mods and I was considering using one, but they seem to be really buggy, most of them. They either make all of the, well, hello. They make, um, most of them make all helmets invisible. So it's not just for the player character, which is too bad. Wait, who is that over there? Some hunters? You were 36 years old when you met Forrest Gump. Look at this place, man. Awesome. Can't uh, bow down here, can I? No. Mr. Curvy Swords. Huh. Huh. Need something? Um, you barter? Not my problem. Okay. Yeah, uh, I wonder if this has that. So this is, let's go to heavy armor and just look through the perks quick. Juggernaut is uh, that they are stronger and weigh less. Um, you receive a bonus when wearing three pieces of armor. So this allows you to wear like all the body armor and not a helmet and get the bonuses. You don't have to have the headpiece. Or we were thinking you could have a headpiece and then wear robes. Less damage when wearing three pieces. Receive 25% armor rating when wearing three matching pieces. 25% less damage from power attacks when wearing three pieces. 50% chance to ignore incoming stagger when wearing three pieces. Uh, health regen when wearing three pieces. 25% less damage when power... You take less damage when power attacking, drawing a bow, or casting a spell. Uh, you gain fire, frost, and shock resistance. And you resist up to 50% of incoming damage based on missing health. Okay, so we don't have... You can get you can get the perks for without a helmet, but you don't actually get the extra bonus for not wearing a helmet. That's too bad. Vigilant, the fourth DLC. Yeah, we don't have face of death in here. Okie doke. Ooh, that guy's got an interesting weapon. Okay. This is the Temple of Stendar, one of our bases in Skyrim. You should greet Therondir. He's the keeper in this temple. 
Oh, okay. Look at this. What is he? It's like a... It's a giant... It's like a lance that comes to a really sharp point. Nice to meet you. I am Augustus Tiberius Caligula. Ah, so you're the novice Altana recruited. Yes, I like the look in your eyes. And I can feel a strong will in you as well. But enough with the small talk. I'm sure you're not here to be bored with the stories of an old man. Altana will take care of you for now. If you have questions, go to him. Okay. Well, I kind of like his, uh... His rub. Yeah. Uh, Antono? Hello? Is that you? So, tell me about this temple. I will give you a short overview of its facilities. The place we're standing in right now is the chapel of the temple. Here we speak our prayers to Stendar. Downstairs is the library where books collected by our predecessors are kept. You should visit it when you have the time. To the right of the entrance is an alchemy laboratory. Upstairs is the restroom. On the second floor on the left is a dining room. Admittedly, the food there is not splendid, but it will satisfy your hunger. But let's finish the explanation here. You must be tired. Get some rest. Okay. Started Bloodsucker. Talk to Altano. Um, and then, we, of course, we have a bunch of quests. Okay, well, let's have a look around the place. We got a map. Um, it's marking off each of the main cities. And okay, we're closest to Dawnstar. Uh, do I want to dispatch Vigilance to Dawnstar? 500 gold. Um, no. This mod is 99% horror, is all you can say? Well, great. That sounds wonderful. Ooh, lots of health and stamina and magicka potions. Okay. Lots of locked things. Yes. Need something? Do you barter? Not my problem. No. No, maybe that's where why he's wearing the mask. Oh, can I? Can I? Oh, I can worship Stendar here too. Nice. Oh, so this actually adds another uh, thing that we needed to get to for Stendar. So I think all that's left now is the one in Fort uh, Greenwall. Okay, so we got an upstairs and a downstairs here. I wanted to see what is upstairs over here. Whoops. Yeah, actually running through this place is not good. Stoon Ravine? Door. Okay, I can sleep here. Knapsack. Player. Novice. Storage chest for player. Nice. Um, That's all fine. We can also get food here, which is nice. And then they have some stuff they've got. Oh, they've got spell tomes. And a few scrolls. And potions. Vigilant. Armor. Or clothing. Okay. That's actually not as good as what we've got. Sadly. Some of the levels are tw for 20 plus. E. Okay, that could be trouble. All right. And 
and yeah, we're definitely going to be... What is Stoon Ravine? That just the area that we are that's just going back outside. You fall asleep. Hmm? Fell asleep uh, keeping a watch. That's not very good. Do you train? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Meh. Think I should do a playthrough of Become High King of Skyrim? Have people beheaded and stuff like that? Okay, we can go down here. This is a this is a very nice castle. Another tower. And a novice locked chest. Fell asleep. Yeah, he wasn't very vigilant. Okay, so I can sleep here. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the other side. Imprison Nazim. Right before we chop his head off. Dining room. Okay, so we can get to pick up some food and things here if we want. The Blood of Lamy. I may. All right, all right. Oh, there's a lot of garlic. Nope, I thought that was a pile of garlic. It's actually uh, honey treats. You became high king starting as a beggar. That's really cool. Work your way up. Bookcase with a ton of books. Wow. Yeah, that's that's basically every book in the game. Okay. Search chest. Alright. Please don't take out any books if you don't have to. The library has limits. Hmm. What do you sell? Blade of Mercy, especially effective against undead. Look at that thing. The freaking scythe. Uh, or not scythe. What, what are the smaller versions called? They're usually like you would, you would like grab a a bunch of wheat or something and chop it. You're like basically cutting it when you're down in your hands and knees. I can't remember what those blades are called. Vigilant Greatsword. Oh, that's what that guy has. Supposed to be a, a greatsword. Regular sword. And Mail Breaker. Power attacks ignore 25% of armor. So basically cut through their stuff. Okay. And then we've got uh, light armor, light armor, light armor or clothes. This is light armor or clothing. Hmm. It does provide a few interesting spell tomes. Okay. All right, I think that's, I think that's it. Let's head upstairs. Is this the side? No, this isn't the side we can sleep. It's the other side. A sickle. That is probably what it is. 
The big, the long ones are the scythes. Oh, can I not sit around here? That's too bad. I just want to sit down and uh, read my, read my book. What can I do for you? There we go. Have a seat and read some more about healing. Too lazy to look it up. Twenty nine percent. Oh, I wonder if it if it's better if you're more rested. I only got eight percent that time. The time before I got eleven percent. So I'm slightly tired, slightly thirsty, and packish. That's all fine. I guess I can just go and sleep tonight. All right, guys, I think we are going to wrap the stream up right there. So let's see how far we've come. Level three, we're well on our way to getting to level four. We got the first perk in block and one-handed. I think that's it so far. We should definitely put a perk into into uh, speech to get going with better prices, because it would be nice to get a twenty-five percent discount on healing potions. That would be very, very nice. Okay, and we've hit up all of the shrines of Stendar, with the exception of the one in Greenwall. So, that's where we're leaving it right now. We're going to continue to learn the healing spell, and I think we're going to try crafting up a iron shield next time. And uh, see if we can get a follower and then go and take out Fort Greenwall for our final part of that. We're also going to talk to Altano about first quest in this mod. And what else? Uh, basically going to, when, yeah, once we get a little bit more kitted out, we're going to start uh, doing a lot more of the side quests, running around, clearing out dungeons, taking out bandits, that sort of thing. So hope you enjoyed this, uh, and we will see you guys in the next stream. So I'm only, I'm planning on only streaming this build. So um, not sure when the next one will be. Monday for sure. There might be another one before now, be between now and then. We will see. Anyway, thanks guys for joining me on an odd time. I don't usually stream at this time. I usually start at 12 and finish at here at 2.30 instead of starting at 2.30. But uh, yeah, it was great having you all join me for this portion of the Paladin of Stendar. A Kopesh is the blade that the, that the Vigilant's carrying. Cool. Yep, have a good, a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you guys are. Take care.